Manhattan criminal court was all abuzz Wednesday when Kanye West was scheduled to appear before a judge on charges of criminal mischief. Little did visitors know that showing up would be Kanye Risa West, a litigant who in April 2011 legally changed her name, hoping to catch the eye of the original Kanye. The 28-year-old street performer from Chicago took a no-jail plea deal for throwing an electric amplifier through an Office Depot store window in Times Square. Although it sounds like something Mr. West might do, the lady Kanye says what started out as a battery malfunction turned into a really bad day. Something happened to my charger that really worked really good. So when I went to Best Buy and got one on discount, it said that it did the same thing that the one I had before. So I'm like, okay, good deal. I buy it and it still ran out on me in a crowd full of people. I had a crowd full of people. I got goals in the back of my head. I want to rock this crowd. I feel like singing. And it, it, when it did that, I was furious. And so, the window just happened to be in my way. While in court, Mrs. West, formerly Linda Risa, was questioned about the title change and the three tattoos bearing the rapper's name, most notoriously the one spanning the fullness of her backside. But I swear to God, I have longed and stayed in the crib and cried for that man. I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't go anywhere, and I have family to back that up because I love Kanye West, and I just sought out my dreams thinking they would come true. One of him wanted to be with him. By the way, she also holds some very strong opinions about Kanye's new romance with Kim Kardashian. I would have never in a million years guessed that he would pick somebody like Kim Kardashian. She might be a beautiful woman, I just don't think she deserves Kanye West. From Midtown Manhattan, for the New York Post, Kenson Noel. Story, don't be comparing me to Kim Kardashian.